Welcome! In this video I will show you how to use React Swipeable Carousel with your React application. So we can take a look at the NPM and we will see that it's pretty popular library based on the weekly downloads. Important to notice that we will use version 7.0.0. So in case if something won't work in your case, check the version. Also, based on the GitHub repository, we see that it has 1800 stars, so more or less popular. And also, we will go to the issues. We can see when the latest issue was opened, January 10. But the most important part is when it was closed. So it, it was closed, the latest one, almost two months ago. So this library more or more or less is supportable and we can consider it for using. Okay, also here we can see some sample how it works or how it should work. There are some issues when you will click multiple times, not the best behavior, but we will re-implement the same approach. Okay, how can we continue our work? We will create a simple application. I will put it in the client folder. It's application created with create react app without any information inside app.js. We have only text. So you can create the placeholder, this temp template and uh, continue. So application is started. And as we see, there is nothing on the app text. Okay. let's go step by step and we will need to go to the home page on the github and check how we can start use it we need to install it and implement some code samples how can we check what do we need let's go to the examples up just a simple carousel for example index in the index, we will use component carousel. Let's re-implement it. And uh, inside carousel, we need uh, React Swipeable library. Let's add it. So in the code, we will yarn add this library. The next. And now we need to create some code. Okay, uh, I will use So as well, and we will put some children. We will use images to slide with images. I have prepared a list of images. It's images from the TMDB database, uh, movie posters. Let's check. So images works and we have it. The next one, now we have images inside the component we will create. We need to go through all the images, the same as we have in the sample. And uh, display it. I will use a bit another approach as we have all slides. Let's go slides map. And we will put image image source will be slide key don't forget slide as well also we need alt i don't have description but we will put the same slide let's close the image okay now we have usage so we will calculate the number of these children items and put them into the carousel. Now it's time to create a carousel. Let's put file jazz and inside the next from the sample we used we need import 
React Swipeable. And now we will continue implementation. As you can see, it's pretty complex implementation of the carousel and really, from my point of view, not the best. What's the point to use carousel library in case you need to create everything from the scratch by yourself? But you, we have it and we can try it. So I want to use reducer, I will implement it with a bit more simple, simple approach. Okay. As you, can see, as you can see, we use here a styled components. All these components are taken from the uh, components folder. Let's go. Components and uh, it's styled components. We want to use styled components, but in case you use it, you can copy this sample. In my case, I will use just styles. So let's put CSS file and uh, we will import this CSS. Okay, and uh, the next, based on the code we have, the most important, important part from the React Swipeable is use Swipeable hook. As you see, it returns handlers and we pass some config. Let's copy this and put inside our code. Now we have handlers, the next. We need slide functions and the parameter. Do we slide next or previous? Let's create const slide direction and we need parameters next and prev. I will create const next and const prev. So now we have constants where are we going to swipe. The next from the sample as you see we have div where we spread all the handlers and uh, then we have wrapper from the, for the carousel container and uh, the most important part we have children map okay let's copy return div inside this div we put handl handlers the next React map is the most important part. Don't forget to import React from React. Now we go through all of the children. Don't forget that we children its props. So now we can skip this part. We have child, we have index and we have function to calculate order and the child itself. So we will use carousel slot div instead of this component. Hmm. Div class name. almost the same name and uh, let's put order order is css property for the flex display flex so we can put style order and the same get order then we can remove this 
useless code. Now we have a div and uh, okay, <clears throat> the next uh, we need function get order. With parameters, it's uh, index, position, and uh, even this uh, index, position, and uh, number. Number of items. As you see, implementation of this carousel is already takes too much time. Okay, then number num items num items it's count of children props. We can easily copy this code. Nothing will be changed instead of children. We put children. Okay, and the next as you see in this code sample we used uh, use reducer to. To keep all the properties properties in the state, basically we need for the state, it's dir direction, it's a boolean flag sliding, here is described, and the pose it's position of the element. So you can use a reducer, or I will use uh, use state instead of this reducer. It should be a bit more simple, simpler to understand. So now we need um, use state, and as we remember, we need position, sliding, and dir direction. Also, this library is with TypeScript created. In our case, we use JavaScript. Okay, now we need. Um, Three new hooks usage is sliding. We set sliding by default, it's false because of we do not slide. Then direction and uh, position. Pretty simple. Okay. The next one we have children, we have get order, we need instead of state, we will use just pause position so we have everything to implement get order function get order we will copy implementation also as you see we will names keep the same names so we will have now we will have the proper implementation of get order function. Get initial state we don't need. Now let's implement the rest of the components we have its wrapper and carousel container. Give. Wrapper and the uh, new carousel container. Everything is inside the next for the carousel container. As you see, we we put direction and the sliding props. It's for the style components. As we use uh, CSS, so we will put the next one. It will be a bit more complex, but direction we will put as a class name, basically. And uh, for the sliding, sliding we will put uh, class names sl sliding. So when we will 
set direction. We will have a class name with uh, next or prev. And for the sliding, we put class name sliding. Now we need to implement this CSS. In the code, you can go to the components folder, components file, and uh, check uh, check the styles we have. Okay, let's start from the wrapper, the easiest one. We just copy all the code. The next, we have from the simple one, we have carousel slot, carousel slot. Let's check what do we have. It's flex, flex basis and uh, order. But as you remember, order, carousel slot, we put by the style inline styles in the component and the next what we need we need carousel container the most complex class for the carousel container we will copy display flex as all the images will be ordered using this style the next for sliding and sliding next and sliding prev here, as you see, we have a complex style components approach with getting props and calculating styles based on the props. In our case, we will do the next transition parameter. In case it's sliding, it will be none. If it's not sliding, without class sliding, we will use transform one second. Okay. We have one second and the next is with transform. We need to check what transform property we need. In our case, it will be this one if, if, if not sliding. We already put these styles. If direction previous, as you see, it's to multiple, multiply these parameters. So we will skip this. We need to put this value. It's a bit more complex approach, but that's why I said that using this carousel not the best idea. And then we, then we need to clarify behavior with the sliding when Sliding, we will need to put uh, transition none. The same from this approach. This transition none for the sliding. And uh, now we will clarify behavior for the sliding next. And uh, Sliding prev. For the next, we have this translate x0. We have it here. For the prev, we have this approach. Okay, with the styles, it's more or less done. Okay, let's check what do we have. Now we need import carousel, export const carousel in the app JS. We will put images and um, 
as you see we have images but we don't have slide behavior we need to move them somehow in the code let's go to the simple console we have two buttons it's uh, previous and next and when we click we do slide behavior let's implement the same we need uh, to add two buttons for example let's go to the carousel and uh, under handlers next and um, prayer for the on click slide next and uh, here on click function slide prep and now we need to implement slide function we already have let's go to the here and as you see we have dispatch direction and put number of items in then in set timeout we put function we put action dispatch action stop sliding let's re-implement it with css let's re-implement it with use state okay we have slide in my case i want to re-implement basically this reducer okay what do we need let's stop from something simple it's const stop sliding in our case we need to put sliding false set sliding false easy yes the next for sliding next and prev okay in my case i want to put if uh, direction is next let's call slide next otherwise slide prev and now we can put all the behavior to these functions slide the next we need set sliding true because of we just started this behavior then we need to set direction next and uh, set position if position is the same approach if position is uh, number items we need minus one it will be zero otherwise it will be position plus one So we have position and for the slide prev the same set sliding true set direction prev and the set position the same from the example okay it's pretty easy and uh, don't forget that in the code sample we have set timeout with dispatching stop sliding after 50 milliseconds let's add it as well for the slider next 
and the for the slide preview. Okay, now everything almost is done. Let's check what do we have here. We have two buttons. Next and preview it slides, but we have some issues. Let's fix them. It's a proper problem with the image for the carousel slot. Image, let's put the width 100%. Now we have the whole image on the screen. Now when we will click next, it slides. When we will click prev, it goes back. And in case we will press it faster, we will see the same behavior we had for this demo. So as you see, everything works as we have on the demo. So all the source code you will find in the description for this video and you can reuse it. And the next, the most important part here with this library, with use swipeable, with these handlers, the most interesting. In case you will remove it, and check the page, everything works the same. So we implemented React Carousel without any library, basically only with the hooks use state and a few lines of CSS. In this case, what's the point of using this React Swipeable library? I have no idea. Wasting of time. So now you know how to implement library without any you know how to implement carousel without any library, just CSS and um, on click events. So, thank you for watching. In case you know how to use this library better or, or what's the point of using it, leave a comment, it will be useful for, for everybody. Thank you for watching.